Whether it's bushfires, floods, cyclones or war, the Australian Red Cross has helped Aussies and our neighbours through some of our worst times. It started a hundred years ago, just nine days after Australia joined the First World War. The wife of Australia's Governor-General wanted to do something to support the troops, so she started an Australian chapter of the Red Cross. It's an international organisation which was founded in the 1800s to provide medical care to soldiers. Its volunteers didn't take sides, and the symbol of the Red Cross on a white background meant, don't shoot, we're here to help. In its early days, Australia's Red Cross was run mainly by women who wanted to help the men who'd gone off to war. Always remember, it might be your husband, your son, your brother or your sweetheart. Branches appeared in towns around Australia where members knitted socks and made clothes to send to soldiers. Vera Deakin, the daughter of former Australian Prime Minister Alfred Deakin, set up the Wounded and Missing Inquiry Bureau so families could get information about their missing boys. And when the war was over, the Red Cross continued. It set up a blood service and helped Australia through other wars and many disasters. Today, there are around 60,000 Red Cross volunteers who provide all sorts of services to communities in Australia and overseas. They say the organisation is as important as it ever was and they hope it'll be around for another 100 years. Amelia's gone down to Red Cross headquarters to find out more about how young people are getting involved. Thanks Sarah, yeah, I'm here with Giovina who works with a lot of young people here at the Red Cross. How's it going? Great, how are you? Good, thank you. So can you tell me a little bit more about the Red Cross and why it's still so important today? Yeah, so we're celebrating our centenary this year, 100 years of people helping people and there's still heaps of people that need our help in the Australian community, so we'll be there for the next 100. That's great. And what about young people? Do they volunteer? Yeah, there's heaps of different volunteering opportunities. Uh, they include working with young asylum seeker kids who need some help with their homework and just to have a bit of a chat. Um, there are breakfast clubs in schools to make sure that kids get the best start to their day as possible. And there's also lots of buddying programs to sort of just have a chat with different people and see how they're going. And what kind of age groups do you have to be to volunteer for the Red Cross? Most of our opportunities you have to be 18, but there are some that you can do a little bit younger. You can get involved in the Red Cross shops and you can also help out with a breakfast club if you've got one in your school. But in the meantime, you can get on social media and have a, have a look. We've got Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, so come check us out. That's great. Well, there you have it, guys. If you want to come down and volunteer, there are heaps of exciting opportunities.